the quality of a leader is reflected in the standards they set for themselves. Ray Kroc. Welcome. Or welcome back to the Broken Traditions Podcast with your host, Laron, a.k.a. Real Rap Ron. In this episode, man, there's a challenge I want to put out, perhaps, or a conversation I want to start about how this upcoming election, right? This election 2024 is perhaps the most important election in black culture and how us black men could take back the culture from people who are, uh, I guess we could say culture vultures for the you know correct terms, right? And I'm gonna explain that in a bit. But before we get into that, man, here on Broken Traditions, we're about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture. If you want to that kind of content, you have that kind of mindset, join the movement. And by joining the movement, please follow or subscribe to whatever platform you are consuming this content in, right? YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, um, Instagram, TikTok, um, fan base, wherever, right? Patreon, wherever you are consuming this content. Also, if you're consuming this content, audio form content on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever audio platform you guys are listening to, leave a review, follow the content, and leave a five-star review, right? Broken traditions don't accept anything less than five stars. Also, I want to give a big special thanks to channel members of the YouTube and channel members of the Patreon. You guys are helping keeping broken traditions independent and i'll have to sign no crazy contract to create content i appreciate you guys if you guys want to become a channel member either on the patreon or youtube i'll put links in the show notes so you guys could do that as well right i appreciate all the people who became channel members people who are channel members recurring channel members definitely appreciate you guys and also for channel members you guys get this content early so that's my contribution to you guys now we're going to have a great discussion a great discussion about how this is the most important election in black culture. And this is a challenge. I'm putting a challenge out there for anybody who's listen, listening to this, any black man listening to this, how this right here is the first step for us to take back the black culture, right? Let's be clear. We don't own the black culture, but we are consumed within black culture. We don't own the, the negative toxicity of black culture that is consumed and showered over us. But now it's time for us to take it back. This is the first step to taking it back, right? Now, we don't own black culture, right? Before I talk about how we're going to take back black culture, we don't own it. Let's be clear, right? Now, ever since the government convinced our women to have the government be the daddy, and we allowed that, we gave up our position in the culture, right? Also, we gave up our position in the culture by uh, electing, in some cases, to have all these different women pregnant and having all the different households, which, which, and we cannot control every household, right? How, how I think in the Bible it says, if I'm not mistaken, let me know. Um, adultery is putting your treasures in another house, right? You can't, you know, trying to consume and have all the household, all the different households is exhausting. So, Allowing the government to be the daddy, having all these different households, you know, we just, we gave up our position in the culture with those aspects. And too many women fell into that, that had to, I guess, boss up and become more independent and not rely on us was a problematic issue. Not to mention the music culture, right? We don't own the culture of hip hop. We, we might own the creativity, but we don't own the business. We don't own what's being put out there. You know, there was a a, a, a panel where Meek Mills was saying how rappers are getting paid more money to talk about more debaucherous stuff. So Meek Mill is saying that, how rappers are getting paid more money to talk about debaucherous stuff. And those people who own hip hop also own the jails. So it goes hand in hand, right? They own hip hop, they own the jails. And if they put out music to get our people to think that that's cool, they fill in the jails. The jails are getting filled up. Now our women out there defending for themselves, raising babies, and also just not giving the right guidance that sometimes is needed to be had because you need two different cups to pour into one child, right? You need the mother cup and the father cup to pour into a child. So 
those ways and those things that is controlling and shifting the culture, we have to now take ownership and take it back. We have to take it back, right? The government can't be the daddy. We can't allow hip hop and pop culture and social media and all types of entities to take over our culture. This Our culture is our culture. We need to keep our culture within ourselves. And if you look at any other culture, or you look at cultures that seem to be doing great, you see the men is standing on business on the culture before any outside entity is uh, uh, influencing, right? Before any outside entity is influencing the culture, the men is leading and the women are following. That is the natural order, right? Put it like this. If you talk to any woman out there that is interested in being in a relationship with a man, nine times out of 10, that woman wants to be led. You know what I'm saying? Wants to be led. They Perhaps they might get themselves in a situation where they're not leading, because maybe there's a, a physical attraction, maybe because, uh, you know, the sexual desires, maybe because of anything, right? But nine times out of 10, a woman want to be led. And we have to now put ourselves back in position to lead our women and also lead the culture. That's what we should start, should start doing. And I think this presidential election is the first stepping stone for us to really start doing that. And this is the reason why I say this, right? It may sound crazy. I'll be honest with you. I'm not saying or endorsing any politician in a race, right? I'm not endorsing any politician in a race. But what I'm saying is this is important because we now have to take the bull by the horns and lead our family into the right direction. They have to start at home. Before we take over the whole culture, let's take over the household. Let's have sound discussions with our family and decide what is best for our family. And how do we do that? Whatever politician you want to vote for, right? Say you want to vote for Cornell West. Say you want to vote for Kennedy. Say you want to vote for Trump. Say you want to vote for Biden. Come to your family. Come to your home, your dynamics with unemotional biases. Come with real facts. Come with just structure conversations about why that person is great for you and your family. Do not lead with emotions. Do not lead the way that perhaps, you know, we could say it, the way that women are leading the politics, especially in the black culture, is emotional base, right? If you're not voting at all, lead why? You know, just be clear, concise, give real answers. Just give real direct answers to your family on why this is important for us to go this direction. You see what I'm saying? Why this is important. Black women. We have to take, we have to take the position to lead y'all, right? That's what we got to do. We got to take the position to lead y'all because once we lead y'all in the right direction, now our leadership will cover you. And now you will be more comfortable raising the children the right way. And we could just now have the next generation not be in the same situation that I was in or my parents were in. Not to be in that same situation. Lead with conviction. Lead with being more determined to give you your answer, right? So if you're somebody who supports Joe Biden, don't lead with the emotions. Oh, you know, Trump going to put us back in chains. Trump is not going to put us back in chains. Lead with real facts. Lead with real facts. Lead, hey, Biden did this for me. If you're a Trump supporter, hey, Trump did this. If you are a Kennedy supporter, hey, Kennedy is having this on the ballot. Lead with facts. Talk to people like adults. Talk to people like adults. And also men, I'll say this. Perhaps we can start having think groups. You know what I'm saying? Having conversations where we could talk to each other and not be emotional about it. And the reason why I say that is because I seen what they had um, at the patio, right? The, with the, the congressmen and cigars and cognac. And it, it hurt my heart to see how emotional the men were when we were talking about things is going on. Like, why did you mention Jim Crow? Why did you... Uh, 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 why did you talk about, you know, rep... What, how you feel about reparations? Like, we're not having real direct conversations. We're having emotional-based conversations. You know, 
for us to start taking back our community, our household, our culture, we can't lead with emotions. A man and a woman both can't lead with emotions. The woman going to be emotional, but we all can't be Carl Thomas. We can't be emotional. We can't be in the rain crying about whatever, right? We can't be that. We have to be real sound. In this election, if a man comes to a woman with sound judgment to provide information to provide information about what politician they see fit best, right? And perhaps the woman won't vote the way that you vote, but at least you can give a sound judgment in whatever direction the country goes in. She can now have a seed planted in her head like, yo, that man was right. My man was right. Now I could trust his judgment. Now I could trust him to lead. Do your due diligence and find out about what politician that you want to support. Don't lead with emotions. You know what I'm saying? Don't go around talking about Trump gave us checks. Don't go around saying that, oh, we better select Biden because we're going to go back to Jim Crow. If you lead like that, you sound goofy. And when you sound goofy, our women will not follow you. You to talk about you want to be followed. We need men to be followed, right? We need to have real men to be followed back into taking the culture. But if you lead in, <laughs> in such a goofy way of, yo, man, I'm telling you, Telling you, man, yo, Trump, he a real one. Well, yes, whatever you're saying now, um, you know, part of my French, Trump is my nigga. If you lead it like that, what respectable woman that is perhaps not pro Trump or pro Biden is going to even take you seriously? Why would she take you seriously? Why? We gotta be in that 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 space in that position to take back the culture. You know what I'm saying? It's too many forces of the culture, too many forces that took our culture and have us going totally in the wrong direction. We emotional. We want to be victims. We, we, we find problems to every solution. And it's everybody else's fault. We can't lead our women like that. We can't lead our families like that. We can't lead our children like that. We can't do it. It doesn't work. It hasn't worked since the government became the daddies. It hasn't worked since then. So we know it's not working while we continue continuously doing it. We got to take it back. And like I said, taking it back by taking over the culture and by the way of this election. Learn about this election. Learn about the politician that you want to support. Be mindful, be uh, driven with information to give to people. Don't just, oh, you know, perhaps I could do this. Oh, you know, perhaps I could. No, no, be direct, be direct, be mindful. And also too, fellas, let's stop being so emotional. Call Thomas, let's stop being so emotional because like I said, that, 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 that cognac, cigars, and, and congressman conversation that, that was at the patio and i've seen the highlights we got to, we have to be able to have conversations and not lead with emotions we have to have the conversations of yo all right i hear what you're saying you know let me take that information or let me think about what you said it does not be emotional start screaming and start acting like we ain't got no sense we got sense and this is a perfect opportunity, man. This is a perfect opportunity for black men to take back the culture. I see it like that. We need to take back the culture. We can't allow outsiders to, de de to, de to, de to determine what our culture is. We can't allow it. We allowed it for too long. You know, I'm ready to have those conversations to take back the culture. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say we want to break away from toxic black culture. And if we break away from toxic black culture, we're going to redefine the culture. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't need to continuously having rappers that is controlled by money, that is controlled by, um, how did most devs say it? Some tall Israeli, some quasi-homosexual, that's what he said, who's running this rap shit. Check out the uh, Rape Over by Most Def. 
You could probably YouTube it. You can't find it like on the streaming. But we don't control that, but that control us. That is problematic. That is problematic. That is something now we need to take back. We need to take it back. And we have to understand, keep music at the at music. Don't think music is reality because a lot of these musicians aren't real. They are manufactured thugs and gangsters, CB4 type shit that they putting out there for you to think that that's real life. That's not real life. And that is creating crash dummies. We need to take back the culture. Social media, we need to take back the culture. Music, we need to take back the culture. Entertainment they put on television, we need to take back the culture. We don't, have, we don't have time to be emotional no more. We don't have time to be victims no more. If we keep going down this trajectory, I mean, we, we, are, we, are, we are already in process of being replaced by the migrants. So what we need to take back our culture so we could be strong instead of us being weak and the migrants coming taking over our, I guess, our spot in our position, right? Every decade, we fall another notch, another notch below as a culture. And now it's happening at a rapid rate. I did an episode talking about how social media is perhaps the worst thing that happened to black culture because now we're the ones that's putting out the, the derogatory uh, 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 content out there as opposed to, you know, it's being done by perhaps the news, perhaps um, the birth of a nation. You know, you guys remember that movie or know about that movie, The Birth of a Nation, how that movie um, destroyed the black image for about 100 years. You know what I'm saying? How that movie destroyed the black image. And now we're doing it to ourselves on social media by uploading whatever content we want with this device and uploading it just so we could be go viral. You know, I saw a video, man. Off subject, on subject. I saw a video of a man who had a toy gun and he put it to his son's head for him to go to bed. Like, yo, you got to go to bed. He put the gun to his head and now he's uh, uh, have his son being led to go to bed with a gun to his head. What are you creating to your son's psyche? You see what I'm saying? And that was uploaded to the internet for us to see. The same thing I did with the with the girls twerking and how the girl wanted to twerk so bad, she kicked, she kicked her son who wanted her to stop. So we have to take it back, man. We owe it to our ancestors. We owe it to our ancestors to take back the culture because they did not live in a in a time or space where they are free as we are. But now we're so free, we're doing the work of white supremacy. <laughs> Gotta take it back, man. And and I wanna close off on this. It's time for us to really have these conversations. Think group conversations. If you know, perhaps we could do this online somehow. Let's have, and let me know in the comments if you guys want to do this. Let's have, you know, online conversations at least, where is that we don't need to go somewhere, but we can have a conversation on why a politician is better for us, right? Let's discuss among us why a politician is better. Let's lead with facts. Let's lead with data. Let's lead with why one person is better than the other. And you could take that information and take it back to your family and let your family know why that person is better. I'm not telling you to vote in one direction. I'm telling you to now make sound judgments for your family. And once we take back our family, then we could go next, next step and take back the culture. For us taking back our family, we have to instill trust into our women that we could lead. You know what I'm saying? You always see these dudes all over stuff. Women, just follow my lead. You have to instill that trust into a woman to want to follow you. And once you instill that trust, we can take back the culture. The culture is ours. Let's, let's take ownership of it. Let's take ownership of it. Let's get these culture vultures out of our culture or let's let these culture vultures be so irrelevant in our culture 
that they don't want to be a part of it in that capacity no more. That's what we should do. That's where it should go. That's what I'm challenging, man. Let's take it back. And we're taking it back one step at a time. Let's do baby steps. You know what I'm saying? There's a term that I, I use, you know, when working on some, a big project. It's called eating the elephant. How do you eat an elephant? What's the best way? It's one bite at a time. We got to do it one bite at a time. Yeah, it's a big course. It's a big meal. But this meal needs to get done. It has to get done. We can't leave anything on that elephant. We have to eat the complete elephant. And how is it done? One step at a time. One bite at a time. If we have a sound, constructed plan to start to take back leadership within our own culture, let's start. And I think, in my opinion, if you guys got other opinions, let me know. Take it back to leadership is take it back to family. Take it back to families by determining which politician is right for us or which politician is not right for us or even voting at all is right for us. But you have to come with a sound decision with real facts, real data to your woman, to whoever you want to lead and have that conversation. And then, man, if you need support, let's find out a way to do this. Let's find out a way to do this without being emotional. You know what I'm saying? Leave your emotions at the door. Let's have a real conversation. Let's not be emotionally led. And let's understand why we need to have whatever we need to have as far as a politician, right? We need Biden. Okay. Give me reasons why. We need Trump. Give me reasons why. We need Kennedy. Give me reasons why. We need Cornel West. Give me reasons why. But give the reasons why. Then take those reasons. Take that information. Gather that information. Do the work. And come with a plan to your woman come with a plan with your family if you're a single parent come to the plan for that's sound for your children and now with that type of leadership that type of mindset your child is now seeing a man being a leader you see what i'm saying come with that type of mindset and after that after the election let's keep those type of decisions constantly going that's how it should be that's how it should be and that's how i am challenged that's now I'm challenging us men to do that. Let's challenge that. Let's start with the election. Then after the election, perhaps we'll start with entertainment. Let's start with let's just start with the election and we can take it from there. Let me know how you guys feel about that, man. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments. Also, if you listen to this audio podcast, email me, Laron at brokentraditions.com. Email me and we can have a conversation, man. I'm looking forward to this. Ladies, if you come across this information, Share this, have this mindset, talk to a brother, say, hey, yo, why are you voting this way? And listen to what he has to say. But also encourage your brother to come with sound information. You know what I'm saying? Don't let him lead with emotions and you having emotions and y'all just going back and forth and clashing like y'all on the Zeus network. Don't work like that. That's not the real world. The real world is not reality TV. The real world is in a natural order men has to lead we have to lead but we have to also earn leadership positions appreciate y'all man all right man till next time peace real rap ron is signing off all right later one